about today we would be talking about the CSIR net exam this is for the first time that the CSIR net would be conducted on a online basis by NDA so there is a lot of confusion among the students how to practice what to study what not to study what are the important topics that we need to take care of how do we go around the CBT system so here we have the answer for those so let's say the computer based system the testing is very very easier much more better than I would say the traditional way because you are spending a lot of time filling in circles and people are keeping 10 minutes specifically for filling in the OMR sheet so all that confusion has been rolled off the only thing is you have to be computer savvy you have to prepare well uh, just uh, do some of the questions online and once you start practicing questions online then definitely you are much more comfortable with the online format now when it comes to practice how should you go around so the first thing i would recommend is practice questions online so uh, the more you practice online the better it is the links are given below so again when it comes to the classification of the paper you have five subjects in which uh, the exam is conducted those are earth sciences life sciences chemical sciences physical sciences and mathematical sciences now these all five subjects have one paper in common and that is your general aptitude paper 20 questions from that which we would understand later earth sciences is open to students from climatology oceanography uh, oceanology oceanography then you have students from geography geology life sciences botany zoology biochemistry nanotechnology uh, so all of those students would come under life sciences Chemical Sciences students from MSc Chemistry background, Physical Sciences from Physics background and Mathematical Sciences from Mathematics background. Now the eligibility as you know is Masters appearing or appeared candidates and as I said the more you practice online the better it is. Now when it is online let's say uh, a question is there on life sciences form a structure of cell so you would have a colored diagram of the structure of cell and xyz labeling that could be marked and then you have to find out what does x denote what does y denote what what, what does z denote now that becomes very much easier in an online pattern because when it comes out to be a printout it's black and white and all the things get mixed up so it's really hard to decipher where the arrow is going what is the exact location that is being asked so all those confusions are ruled out here csir papers are usually very very conceptual so focus on the basics now when it comes to aptitude there are 20 questions for your aptitude now each of the five subjects as we said have different number of questions that are allotted but the only thing is you have to practice now there is uh, the first round of qualifying and then you have the second round where the copies are checked that was the pattern so far but when it comes to CBT it's just one paper that you have to appear for aptitude as I said you have 20 questions dealing pertaining mainly to logic series puzzles reasoning questions uh, probability questions so you have to just practice those once you practice those and be familiar with the very basics of 11th and I believe 9 to 12 sciences you are all set with your aptitude paper it's really really scoring section so practice a lot on that don't miss questions from the aptitude section they are really really scoring you can really get good marks in that and then when it comes to subject I would say uh, focus on your area of expertise and that's the way it differentiates uh, the CSIR exam from your NDA, NDA net examination the UGC net examination for other subjects so for sciences I believe your specialized area let's say you are specialized in organic chemistry so focus more practice more on the questions on organic since you would have the choice there so that's how you can uh, proceed with your preparation the only thing is keep working hard and practice a lot. We have the relevant links for you below. So refer those. Have a wonderful day ahead.